Hello and welcome to Nerdy Unreal Dev and today we are looking at Unreal 4.25's auto exposure which is very different from previous versions. Note this isn't a video looking too deeply, this is just extreme basics so you know how to adjust your scene. Um, so the scene we're actually using today is the Sun Temple project that can be used that can be found under the learn tab of your Epic Games Launcher. And let's get into things. Now many of you are probably noticing that the sky here is a lot darker than usual. And that's because the auto exposure settings, the default ones, are very different from previous versions. Um, technically when you open up the scene it'll be the um, actually at a good auto exposure. However, for the sake of the tutorial, I put everything at its default. Now, uh, the way it works now is instead of going into settings and project settings and finding auto exposure under rendering, you actually go to your uh, post process volume, uh, which in a pre made scene uh, made by Unreal might be called global post process. Uh, if there's no post-process volume in the scene, uh, you can add your own. It can be found in volumes or just by typing in post and you'll see your volume. Now, um, with post-process volumes, if you don't have infinite extent unbound checked, it will only cover a limited area. So with that in mind, let's take a look at our exposure. And the exposure section can be found under lens right here. And the main things you really want to worry about are exposure compensation, min brightness and max brightness and speed up and down. Speed up and down are basically uh, how quickly to adjust because what auto exposure is, is it adjusts the amount of exposure in the scene based on how human eyes do it. Now, min brightness and max brightness are actually what's important here because if you adjust these values, you can actually adjust how exposed things are. So the lower your max brightness, the uh, brighter it will be. And the higher your min brightness, the darker it will be. So you can adjust these values, um, bring this more down, and you can also adjust the exposure compensation. It gives a little explanation. And you can always uh, hit default to bring things back to normal or back to the default. So if you mess up a little while adjusting, then you can just reset. Now this is pretty good for basic uh, things, but if you want a little, if you want to kind of have more something similar to uh, basic auto exposure, you also have auto exposure basic which works very fast. Um, this is for if um, there's no tone mapper. And basically, just like with the exposure compensation, the brightness, min and max brightness affect it. A cool thing about uh, 4.25 auto exposure, which if we go to a more indoor scene, section will be more obvious. If you look at the documentation, you'll actually see this scene. Uh, so if you click on exposure metering mask and then find grayscale, what this actually does, and the effect's not too obvious, But what it can do is 
it will affect the auto exposure. So you can put in an alpha and the, the when it's actually working properly, <laughs> I'll have to check the documentation on this. Uh, basically, you can have the edges not as exposed while the center is more exposed, which can be really useful if you have a fancy scene and you need lighting in specific places. So this can really happen, this can really help with mood. So the advance, uh, that's more concerned for when you're working with the histogram, which is a bit more complicated, but that's the absolute bare bones basics of how 4.25 is handling auto exposure. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good one.